there were nine mistakes ahead of, made ahead of me. And I, um, I will make sure over, over the next decade or so that they, they, will, uh, they will know that they made a mistake. There were nine mistakes ahead of him. I don't know if that was wise to say, Stephen A. Do you think Rosen will regret saying this? Well, yes, I do, because I think he's an idiot. And I'm going to say that now on national television <laughs> to this guy, to this guy who's supposed to be so intelligent, you know, to, you know, his, his, his IQ is supposed to be off the charts. Enough of this already. I, I was on record before the draft last year. I just don't love him. Remember, he, he was the bottom dweller. He, he finished dead last in QBR last year for the Arizona Cardinals, who were terrible. Who do you think of these four guys, and I don't want to wish anything bad out on any of these young men, might end up most likely to be a bust? Um, Josh Rosen, he's a little undersized. Um, he comes from a family of, of fairly um, half influence. Josh Rosen, what kind of winning record have you had over the last two years? Four and eight this past year, but you're gonna sit up there and talk about how you know you don't want to play for certain teams. You got to be kidding me. I mean, who the hell do you think you are? You know, I, 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 you don't have you don't have the right to have that position. Not you. You haven't done enough on a collegiate level to be below the eight on that level. So I'm gonna go with Case Keenum over Josh Rosen. Can Josh Rosen run this offense? Like, can Josh Rosen, does he have the skill set? He's obviously not mobile. But people don't like him, okay? And not only is life a popularity contest, but if you're going to be the leader of a franchise, you have to walk into that huddle, and maybe they don't have to like you, but they have to want to play hard for you. They won't have to want to lay down on train tracks for you. Josh Rosen, 60% completion in college. It's going to go down. Yeah. It's going to go down. And... Things that work against Josh Rosen. Not a winner overall. Right. He's not a winner. Rosen, the thing that gives me fear is the tennis player mentality and the shoulder problems. The reason he doesn't play tennis is because of a shoulder problem. The reason he sat part of last year was because of a shoulder problem. His durability has been an absolute question mark. He's got concussion issues. He looks like he needs to be in a weight room just as much as me. That's all you think he's good for? It's yep. a, a stopgap? Mm -hmm. That's all I think he's good for. I do not think he's the wow. answer. You have to be a different human being dealing with the elements. And whose ball flight is more suited for that? Because me, Josh Rosen, I don't believe he can play in those type of conditions. I think it would be more of a challenge for Josh to be able to create and be able to be able to show a little bit more escapability. His inaccuracy, are people going to be able to coach him up He's got a loopy delivery. He's got a whole lot of turnovers this year. That's what you're going to point to. Yep. I don't think Josh Rosen is accurate. And so if he's a transcending quarterback, if he's a guy that you're going to put your franchise on his back, well, he's already telling you he's not going to be able to do it. Is this your quarterback? <laughs>